Hi, beautiful souls. I wanted to share some of my thoughts from my morning meditation this morning. When we come into this life, we enter into this physical body, which comes prepackaged with a heart that beats, blood that flows, and a brain that its only purpose is to serve us thoughts. So we enter in this physical form and we start going. But behind our physical form, there is a silent consciousness. And this silent consciousness is the deepest part of you. It's the part of you that never goes away. And it's the part of you that's always observing and watching your life. And I think sometimes in this world, our minds can get so rampant and out of control that we walk around with minds that are enslaving us, minds that are won't stop talking. Um, and we hold on to a lot of our, our personal identity. We hold on to the things we want, the things we didn't get that we want, you know, um, outcomes that we're seeking. We hold on to beliefs about things that we don't have, the things that we lack. Um, and we dwell a lot on the past um, or the future. If you are anxious, you're thinking about future possibilities and you're wrapped up in that, or your mind is serving you thoughts of the past and you're wrapped up in that. All the while, your mind is only serving you what you are interested in. Um, so if you're interested in something, it's going to serve you more of that. So if you're interested in your pain, it's gonna serve you more thoughts about your pain. If you're interested in your sorrow, it's going to serve you more thoughts about your sorrow. And pretty soon, your mind is so good at serving you thoughts, the ones that you're interested in, that you'll be drowning You'll be drowning in this echo chamber of thoughts that your mind is so eager to serve you. But behind all of those thoughts is just a pure, quiet consciousness that can watch and observe, that is unattached from any identity that you have. Our identities are constantly changing throughout our life. You know, when you're seven years old, you're a different person than when you're 30 years old. <clears throat> so in reality, we really shouldn't attach to these identities that we have, that we collect, that we build. We should let go of them because when you do and you silence your mind, you take a minute to stop your mind from just enslaving you to the past or the future, come to the present moment. And here in the present moment, always you have access to this beautiful silence and in that silence, you have access to reality. Reality is, is a canvas. Reality is gonna reflect whatever is inside of your consciousness, whatever is inside of your brain. But when you take your brain and you set your brain aside and you say, be quiet for right now, I'm just going to be in this present moment and observe the reality of the present moment something beautiful happens and you realize that here, right here in reality, in the silence, there is love. Love from the universe all around you. Love from the air that you're breathing, love from the light on your skin or the darkness of the sky. There is love in just being where you are. And it's all around you. If you take a moment to silence your mind, come to the present moment, come to reality. Reality is here. You can see this blank canvas right here in the present moment. The canvas is blank. And there is this mystery in the present moment because it's always unfolding. It's unfolding right now. So the present moment is holding this mystery, this potential, this love. And you can choose that. And you can choose to dwell there. And right there, there is a lot of peace. And there's also a lot of joy and fulfillment there. Versus choosing 
to dwell on the past, thoughts of the past. Um, when you dwell on thoughts of the past and you're always doing it or the future, right? You're always consumed. You can catch yourself. If you really take time to cultivate silence, you'll start to catch your brain trying to pull you back there. And it takes a little bit of discipline. It takes effort to pull your mind back to the present moment and say, no, I'm not interested in the past anymore. We're not going to review that. We're not going to review the thousands of details of the past. We're going to come back to the present moment because this is what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the love that's here, the mystery that's here, the potential that's here, the, the unfolding of the right now, the beauty of being present, of letting go of your identities, of letting go of outcomes that you're seeking, of letting go of uh, things that you don't have that you're sorrowful of, maybe something you lost or something that you lack right now, letting go of the need for control to control everything, control life, let go of all of that, come to the present moment, be interested in this present moment and you will feel peace, you will feel love, you will see that there's love everywhere in the quiet, but you have to work for that quiet. I've never appreciated the quiet as much as I do now. And I always thought, I think I was always more interested in, in the thoughts of my past or future. I was more interested in my identities, more interested in the outcomes that I want, more interested in the things that I'm sorrowing for, more interested in the things that I lack, more interested in the control that I don't have over life. And when you choose to get rid of that, you choose to say, no, I'm the captain of my reality and my ship. So I want to focus on the peaceful silence and the present now. And in that you find a richness and you find peace in life. And so, and you find reality and that's the that's the most beautiful part because the parts of your brain that you're living in constantly it's not reality it might have been the past it might be the future that hasn't come yet but it's not right now right now is reality and right now is a blank canvas and um yeah i just had those thoughts this morning and one of my goals i think for 2024 <laughs> is to try to live more in this present moment, to detach from all the thoughts that my mind is trying to serve me. A healthy mind, true sign of a healthy mind, is one that is used when called upon. So you have a brain and a mind to serve you and you, you should use it when you need to use it. But the mind should be silent when you need it to be silent. It shouldn't just be constantly running and serving you thoughts constantly and you're just engaging it. You need to to have or like that order. You need to be in control. You need to have the power. And that power is in that silent consciousness that is behind the mind. And so I think our brains, we often walk around with brains and minds that are dominating us oppressing us and it's kind of like you know you need to tame that wild horse that's been running wild it's your horse it has a lot of power it has a lot of utility and use but you've never learned to train it you've never learned to tame it you've never gotten the reins and said i'm going to you're going to do what i say you're going to serve me and i'm I'm going to use the mind and the brain to think when I need to do that. Otherwise, I need to dwell in peace. Otherwise, I need to be present. Otherwise, I need to be um, happy with where I am right now. And that comes with an acceptance. Full. You, you have to accept everything as it is right now. You have to accept your past. You have to accept the present. You have to accept the, the fact that you can't control life and the future full acceptance of whatever it is you are going through right now full acceptance of whatever it is you've been through full acceptance of the way things are and then you can be in control 
and tame your mind and calm your mind, quiet your mind. And it takes practice. It takes intention. It takes sitting down and meditating. And when you sit down and you meditate, the mind will start chattering and you'll catch it. You'll catch it going off into its little loops. And your job is to bring it back. Say, no, nope, we're not doing that one. Oh, off it goes again. I said, we're not doing that one. We're here, we're coming back. And then you have some quiet. And then later you'll catch it going off again. No, we're here. We're here, we like being here. So some thoughts for my meditation this morning. I hope you enjoyed hearing that and uh, leave me a comment or let me know if you had any thoughts or if that was enlightening to you or if that made any sense.